Look at the first company. This is 1902, the Golden Rule Store. Uh, which was called Penny or Penny, Penny something like that. Uh, look at the muddy road, muddy road and the cart and the horse. Compare this photo with the Supreme Giant buildings, perfect and what I've, what I've shown you in the other videos. Let's see other first corporations and companies in their first year of activity of our super supreme humanity. Harley Davidson. This is the first place of Harley Davidson in the history of Harley Davidson. The year is 1903. 19 Zero 03. Compare this with the supreme buildings built by the ancient humanity of the classics. Do you, um, do you understand the message I'm trying to give you with this video? I, I hope you do, uh, especially if you've seen my other videos. This is Ford assembly line 1910. The first Ford assembly line 1910. Um, this is Coca-Cola. The first place of Coca-Cola in Georgia the first place ever in terms of like the bottling because uh, before they had like these it was like more like it was something else in the late 1800s but when it, it began like a corporation this is 1912 1912 this is dublin georgia it's not dublin island it's dublin georgia in the states even the cars look so primitive this is boeing boeing air transport the first very one first in 1930 even air travel, I mean, 1930 in 2030 would be a hundred years. Ah, but the skies were full of ships with hydrogen and helium before. And that's why many of the photos have their um, skies grayed out. So fascinating, isn't it? A uh, hot dog, what think I, Chili, uh, Carly, or Carly or Charlie, something like that. Chili dogs, this is in 1941. Even hot dogs selling on the streets, like the famous ones, they started during the Second World War. Um, and this is Burger King, this is 1960, I think this one was in 1953, the very first Burger King, home of the Whooper. So even like the stuff that we give for granted, um, they started some of them way after the Second World War. Does that give you some insight into how civilized we are as a society, you know, how prepared? Disneyland, 1955, 10 years after the war. Not gonna go into more details about Disneyland. Walmart, 1962. Very, very, uh, you know, a long way into like what we expect. You know, something so normal. Walmart is everywhere, right? Um, 1962. It's not even that long ago. Taco Bell, 1962 as well. Uh, Pete's Subway, you know, famous Subway in 1965 with the sandwiches and everything. Um, and this is Wendy's, also very famous in the States, 1969, the very first place. And this is Starbucks. You wouldn't expect, you know, you've got your, your Starbucks, this is 1971. You go to Starbucks today and um, you don't see these beard guys or like with that hair of the 70s. Well, that was a style back then in 1971. And then this made like fair trade coffee and I don't drink coffee. I mean, for me, Starbucks is non non-existent, but... I know people who are addicted to Starbucks, just like they are to Burger King or McDonald's or, um, I know, other places. Microsoft, of course, Microsoft has to be here. No, Microsoft, this is 1978, oh gosh, when you look at their, you look at the people, it was so different back then. This is 1978, the late 70s, and for us and for the kids of these days, computers are something like so typical. You, know, you have your computer, your laptop, your smartphone, your... Um, Everything has like a, a chip inside. This is 1978. Even the, the computers of the 1990s. I was in primary school in the 1990s and I was scared. I'm now looking back from now as an adult. I look back at those days in the 1990s. And I, 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 found, I find myself in uh, my, the society we lived in so primitive with the computers we had in, cl in the classroom. And it was more than 10 years, more than 15 years after Microsoft was invented. So um, you get my point. When you look at these photos, and this one is probably something you didn't expect, Amazon, 1995. That's that there in the, in the photo, Mr. Jeff Bezos, or Bezos, however you wanna spell it, in his office in 1995. Amazon, who would have thought, you know? Back in the day, you would speak about shopping online, having Amazon delivered to your door, any type of like stuff you find out on Amazon, everything. 
Amazon.com, you say, wow, that's nuts. That's never going to happen. No, I don't, don't trust that. And look at us today. More than 30 years now. No, it's going to be 30 years in 2025. It's not even that long. And of course, no, the dot-com boom, the online and stuff. And I, and, I, and I lived those days. Heck, I went to school, to primary school in the 1990s. So it's so feels so different why am i showing you this because you know this photo 1880 this is levi strauss you know the with the the jeans and everything so for clothing that's when uh it was the easiest to start in the late 1880s because then everything had to do with food and dry goods and stuff that started like in the 1900 and this is dunkin donuts um 1948 just after the war and again we go back to the to the muddy, muddy road with your, this is the technology used to build all this super gigantic buildings you've seen in my other uh, videos. So what's the point of this video? The point of, the, of this video is the following question. Why do you think all the big companies, the big corporations, they started their very first activity either at the beginning of the 1900s, at the beginning of the 20th century, or like Levi Strauss and some others, uh, very late in the 19th century, 1880s, 1890s. There's only a handful of companies that started between 1850 and 1880. You can count them on the fingers of your hand. So does this mean that humanity, that humanity that built all those super gigantic, perfect, huge buildings with free energy that I've shown you in so many videos, did they not build like also corporations and companies? So everything was built just for going to church and to the temple and pray? Because that's what they tell us. You know, all those huge, super huge buildings were temples and churches built for you go to pray to God or to the God of your choice or to the God of the culture you're, 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 you were born in. So is it or is it because our humanity, even in the sense of like air travel, because air travel with these type of planes started in the 1930s? Because until then, we, did, we just had like military planes, you know, military planes from the First World War. And even in the Second World War, they did experiments with the jets and everything else. So that's my point. It doesn't take too much of intellect to assess these things once you have access to the archives of humanity and to see to understand that we started as a human species after the year 1850, after the world was repopulated in such an intense way using the infant incubators, and I've shown you some of those places where they are massively producing, genetically speaking, in like genetic labs, and that's something that's information that you can uh, find yourself and do it for yourself. And then that's when we developed. So our human species really developed from the 1850s onwards. And the corporations, all of them, started in the 1880s, 1870s, 1880s, and they flourished, um, starting with the 1900s. I mean, even until the Second World War, we barely had any companies. There were like, you know, some companies, some corporations, there were like some of them, but especially the ones that we were like, you know, this like industrial food and like the big super hypermarkets like Walmart, they started after the Second World War. That should give you an insight into what we are as a human species and why it took us a hundred years or between 50 and 100 years to set the basis of um, industrial, you know, corporations and manufacturing and everything else. It, it, there is a reason why we are like this, but when you compare the photos of the of, of the old world, they look like giant photos from a different humanity with a different technology for the use of free energy. So I hope this has helped you, because you know you have to see these photos in. Um, let's go to the one that probably helps you the most. Um, this one with Levi Strauss and this one with uh, the Golden Rule store, Muddy Road, and then of course Levi Strauss in 1880. And then compare them with the big buildings and the other humanity and you should understand where we come from and how young we are as a human species. But of course, if, that's, if, if it's something you don't want to accept, that's fine. And you can also accept that all the big buildings I've shown you, they're just churches and temples to go and pray. Hey, it's your choice. So as long as you're happy, I'm happy. See you in the next video. I had some pizza today. It was quite good after such a long time with no pizza. Just two slices though, because um, yeah. And I'm off. I'm going to try and keep myself smiling because time flies and we get old. 
and I'll see you in the next video in about a couple of hours.